Although in this video I'm going to show you how to make a 7x7x3. Seven by seven by so, for the 7x7x3, seven by seven by you have to start off with a 7x7. Uh, seven seven. I'm using a Sheng Shao 7x7. Seven seven. And you're going to be gluing the top three and the bottom three layers together so the arm move is one. Okay. So, you can see I've represented which cubes are getting glued together with these strips of black plastic. So just all the way around the cube, you just glue in three cubes all the way around. Okay, so to start off with, you need to take your cube apart. So you just pop your centre cap. So use like I just use a small screwdriver. Um, it's got a really fine, fine tip on it. You use a knife, whatever. If you've got long fingernails, you prick your fingernail in there. I don't know. Um, and then just unscrew it. What I've done is I've put tape across all these centre pieces. Um, the reason I've done that is because obviously when I take the top off, normally they just go everywhere. And once I've glued these pieces together, I'm going to have to put this, this centre piece back in again, put them all back and rebuild it. But it, with the tape on it, I'll show you in a second. When I take it, um, when it's unscrewed there, you can just lift that entire centre out. It comes out pretty much as one, apart from that one piece that fell out. And then when you come to rebuild it, all you need to do is just drop that back in. So you're not having to mess around putting all those pieces in individually later on. Um, just keep hold of your washer and your screw there. And that's it. You can just put those to one side for now because you won't be using those. Um, so I'll just show you the pieces that are getting glued together. So this is one row. Obviously it's the same all the way around the cube because there's no different kinds of uh, pieces being glued together. There's only four basic types that you're gluing together. So this is just your one row and in a row you've got two corners, middle middle centre piece and then these two, uh, or middle edge piece sorry, and then these two sort of side edge pieces which are the same on both sides but mirror images of each other. So starting with the uh, the corner piece, obviously every piece is going to consist of three cubes or three pieces so this consists of one of these pieces with a long stem, one of these, Oops. and one of the ones I've just dropped on the floor, which is that. So that makes your corner piece, and will look like that when it's glued together. Um, you've got your two side edge pieces, which of the outer one is made up of three, well, obviously again, three pieces. So you've got one of these. Take that off. Got one of those. And one of these. Yep. Then your inside edge piece, which is made up again of one of these little pieces. One of these pieces. And one of these. And then the centre edge is made up of these three. So you start off with one of them. One of them. Without that bit obviously on it. 
and one of these. And that's the uh, three different kinds. So the edge sort of side pieces will look like that with the glue together. That's the outer one. The inner one will look like this. And your center edge will look like this. And yeah, again, the corner will look like that. So that's what you need to do. You need to glue the pieces together. When you glue them together, make sure you get the edges really square. Um, not just the actual faces of the cubes, but also the stems as well. Um, when you run your finger across them, you should be able to feel if it's not being glued correctly. If you feel one's sticking out a bit, you, you will need to um, readjust it. Um, if you do glue them wrong, you can separate them again. If you depend on what kind of glue you're using, if you're using super glue, it dries pretty quick. But once it's dry, you can just separate them by just putting a screwdriver or some other implement into there and just sort of like twisting it or just smacking it down in between the pieces, and they will break apart. Then you just need to clean off the residue of the glue. And then just restick them. So just make sure you stick them nice, nice and flushly. So when you actually are turning the cube, you're not getting catches and stuff like that. Um, which, if you don't stick them correctly, it's it's going to cause a lot of a lot of problems later on because you'll have to start sanding the bits down and filling bits in just to make the insides nice, which you don't want the hassle of doing really. So that's it. So you need to glue those pieces together, and then you need to reassemble your cube. Okay, so I've glued all the pieces from the top and the bottom together now. Um, when I did it, I first off took off the top, I glued all those pieces together, I put it back on, uh, I reassembled it, and then I turned it over, took off the bottom, and then glued those pieces together, um, just to save having to mess around, putting all these pieces back in each time to rebuild it. Um, so that's that's the uh, top, well, it was the top, and it's now the bottom. So you can see all these pieces are glued together. Um, Just the three pieces all the way along, just glued. Each row is still obviously separate, they're not being glued together. Um, I just need to reassemble the rest of the cube now. So, these are the glue pieces, your corner, and then you've got all your edge pieces here, and your centre pieces. This white residue is just from the super glue. So just need to reassemble the cube. And like I did with the other side, I glued all the uh, centre pieces together just so when I reassemble it, I can just drop it in. I'll show you that in a second. So let's just get this cube back together. You can also see I've removed all the stickers as I've been gluing them together. Because they'll have to come off eventually, so start doing it then. And it's actually easier to remove the stickers when the cube is disassembled than it is when the cube is fully assembled. So that's why I do it then. Oops, it's falling out there. Alright, so get this last side in. I right, be careful because all these want to pop out now. Um, you got that square set of pieces there, just drops in. Sits in the middle there. And then you just need to drop these centerpieces in and now you can see the reason why I facilitate them together because that was much much quicker than having to put them in individually so there you go that's the cube reassembled um, you can now take the tape off because you're not taking the top off again for now and the next step in the process is to shape the cube now. Um, I'm going to take it down as far as I possibly can. 
um, in a similar way to when I did my 3x5x5 three by five by five. I took it down really flat so you end up with this big square piece and little tiny pieces there it's going to be similar, I don't think I'll be able to get it as flat as this It'll, I think it'll be a lot more curved um, but I'll see how flat I can get it but that's it really, so once you've uh, reassembled the cube you're looking at maybe cutting the, um, the edges down so they finish around here so you're basically taking the top two cubes off and then just sort of pillowing it around um, maybe maybe a little bit higher, maybe maybe cut into about there. So maybe one and a, one and a quarter cubes high at the side there. Uh, so to start off with, I'm going to take off all the corners with a saw just to save having to sand it all down. Then I'll start sanding it. All right. So as you can see, I've cut the edges off. So I've cut them to a rough angle. It'll be at the uh, towards the end. I've also cut the top and the bottom off, just so there's a little bit less to sand. Um, I put a bit of tape around it when I was doing this, just to stop the puzzle from moving around while I was cutting it. Um, you can remove the tape now before you start sanding it. Um, all I used to cut the sides off was just this hacksaw here. Um, you can use anything you like, this is just a hacksaw blade and a handle. Um, you could use a Dremel, you could use whatever. That is actually quite easy to use, it took about 20 minutes to do. Um, I think it probably would take a lot longer to sand it. If you've got a, access to a bandsaw, that'll take it off in seconds, but then if you've got access to a power sander or like a sanding belt, then you could just do it all by sanding. Uh, it depends what you've got really. Um, right, before you start sanding it though, take the tape off there, like I said, and just um, keep mixing the top and bottom up, rotating it around to keep all the sides even. So that's the next step to start sanding it. Okay, so I've finished the basic sanding of the shape of the puzzle now so you can see what shapes getting up looking like um, it's nice and even on both sides so as you can see it's got a nice pillar shape didn't have any problems getting into this part the only problem I did have was with these Sort of, sort of centre pieces, well, well, centre, well, it wasn't all of them, it was just one of them really. Um, I think it was, um, which one was it? That one. Um, when I was sanding it, I went down too far. If you go down too far, you end up cutting the, the piece about there, so you get a gap from about there all the way to there, so that's just an empty space, which doesn't make any difference to the actual function of the puzzle, but I just don't think it looks as nice with that big gap in it. It does make a difference if you leave it in or not, but all I did to repair that was just I just glued a small square of um, plastic sheeting onto that piece and then just re-sanded it again with being more careful not to go too far. Um, when you actually do sand these pieces, you can see they do become incredibly thin. But when the puzzle's all spray and sticky, you're not going to touch those pieces, so as long as they're not catching on anything, which they shouldn't do, you'd be fine with those. Um, so that's it really. What I need to do now is I need to take the, um, the cube back apart and just fill all these pieces in. And then fill the gaps in around the edges there to make the pieces look like one. Uh, I also had to, um, with the centre screws, um, they stuck out way too far. Uh, once I started the puddle down, so I took them out and I ground them down. So they were probably about a fifth of their original thickness and also I took down the actual sort of the width of the screw as well so it just made it completely smaller all around um, I may need to make it a little bit smaller still and I might have to cut some of the plastic out that sits on top of so in that sort of square little box it sits on you can see I just need to cut a little bit of plastic out there so the screw sits down a little bit further inside that piece uh, apart from that it's pretty much good. Like I said, I just need to fill in. Uh, once it's filled, then it's uh, paint and stickering. So that's what I'll do next. I'll take the cube back apart and start filling all these pieces. Right, so I've got all the pieces filled now. So these are the main pieces. You've got your corners.
get your center edge pieces and then you get your side edge pieces that's this side there that fits there like that right so just have a look at these pieces so as you can see I filled in all the gaps at the sides just to make the cube piece flush when it's sprayed it look like one complete piece same with all the pieces there just filled in the bits and the bits at the front as well just to hide that little gap um, so that's all the pieces filled obviously not sanded all the tops down yet I'm going to reassemble the cube and sand the tops down so that's the next thing to do is reassemble the cube and then sand it down to the proper finished shape right so as you can see the cube has been reassembled and that has been sided down to its final shape. The turning's alright. It's not been lubricated or tensioned yet, so the turning will only get better once it has been. But at the moment I'm very happy with this. So that's it. That's the finished 7x7x3. Seven by seven by All that needs to be done now is the cube needs to be painted and then stickered. So next time you see it, it'll be painted and stickered. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.